Hi, I am Drew, Andrew Lalo, Sudi President. Hey, thank you very much for joining us for this Saturday lecture. A lot of people are asking me, hey, you know, I, I heard your last few lectures talk about this called anti-inflammatory uh, diet. Really, can you kind of give me a little more information? Because if I'm pre-diabetic or diabetes, uh, would it hurt, you know, what is that? What will hurt me or not? Okay, so I thought that perhaps today I'm going to focus to give you a little bit more information at what is anti-inflammatory uh, diet, and you can very easily to implement that. Plus, we'll give you a little bonus today to make almond bread with a burger. So hope you enjoy that, and I'm looking forward to uh, have you enjoy the lectures, and if you future later on, uh, if you will need to get more information, do write to me, Andy, A-N-D-Y, at W-A-H-F-O-N-G dot com. I just want to share with you why we talk about anti-inflammatory diet. And the reason is that because a lot of people actually didn't realize if you don't put proper dieting, whatever you eat actually can help your body have a certain reaction and it will inflame your whole body system. And because of that, you will get more uh, gases, for example, uh, and your vessel may be inflamed. And especially if you are diabetic, pre-diabetic, all your vessels cause also inflammation. And that's why it damage your blood vessels, damage your organ, all that will entire body will damage. Ooh. So this is the reason why I thought that, oh, maybe we should actually get let people alerted. There is a such a thing as inflammatory dieting you want to make sure that your diet doesn't cause more information for you and that is the purpose of this uh, webinar to get you more alert and that will be definitely help you more in a sense in in that case uh, 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 screen uh, if you can see in the screen you hear me clearly on the uh, uh, zoom can you put a one thank you very much pat oh very good uh okay thank you pat i really appreciate that uh to my facebook if you have people in facebook can you also give me a like in facebook and also give me one one the people who can see me, uh, give me a two, rather. Give me a two in Facebook. You can hear me. So that would be greatly appreciated. I just want to make sure my technically I did well and correctly. So give me a two. You can see me in Facebook. And also another thing, too, is give me uh, some likes over there so we know that you actually seeing it and share with your friends, okay? I thought, uh, uh, thank you very much for your first time. Why do I say that? 什麼食物上能夠令到你好像是將所有發炎的狀態原因就是因為糖是高的你就會做到這件事所以為什麼我們一定要把糖降低到最高的程度 呃,這個Webinar是對你很有幫助,等你了解多些,原來有這樣的作用的。Now keep in mind, diabetic cannot get well, all you gotta do is just control. You will never get well, once you're diabetes, you're diabetes. But if you can able to control, you will live a normal life, you can live a long life, and your body will be extremely good, and that's what we'll try to help you to do, holding your hand and throughout your diabetic journey and you can get well and that's what we're trying to do now to do that you want to make sure your a1c actually below 6.4 and if you are not 6.4 yet it's okay and i see people from 
really all that people that we work with, we see them from 10 drop all over 5.7. Some even went down to 5.2. So very, very good. So pre-diabetic, you need to control your dieting, your exercise, your weight control, and you cannot eat any white powder. And you have to really not to drink sodas, uh, juice, and all that. And certainly low shooty definitely help, help you to lower your blood sugar, give you the boost, uh, and also detox, and also decrease your low LDL cholesterol. So all that will be helping you. So remember, you cannot get well, you just need to control. Now, give you a little bit of water, a lot of water. 是全身的不好的 这个是一定很重要的,记住要记住在A1C跟跌到6.4以下 You know in diabetes has four stage to become a diabetic The first stage is usually your cholesterol LDL go up So mixed with the sugar become very th uh, thickening the blood And it create a lot of plaque on your second stage And your vessel become a lot of plaque so your blood pressure goes up and this is the time that a lot of people say oh no my goodness my pressure goes up so you go to see doctor and at that time you will find out oh i'm diabetes or oh, i'm pre-diabetic so the third day you don't do anything your actual uh your uh, blood sugar will go up and you become a pre-diabetic which is your a1c will be from 5.7 all to 6.4 and you don't do anything no change in about three years you will convert to diabetes 我再講一次,如果糖尿病患者很多時就是要用糖尿病 血压高,所以很多人回来糖尿病就是因为这个情况下 so how does uh, how does the low shooting works really at the thing is there's two things in there the guava that help you to block the sugar go into the vessels after you eat and the bitter matter act like insulin it go help, help you carry the sugar into the cells and also dump excess sugar out urine and also the LDL and salt also throughout. That's the reason why a lot of people drank low shoot tea, the blood pressure go down. And on top of that, their swell of the ankle also go down. A lot of people have that because they also dump salt. So I can say that uh uh hold on to hold on that you guava leaves uh jay I'll go five so you got a block to talk you could have been so 降低了你的LDL的膽固醇 
血壓高啦，同埋算係所有血管啦，同埋如果個腳唔好要斬咗腳啦，就嘔慘啦。咁然後咧，仲有要洗腎啊。咁嗰陣時咧，有啲人咧就係懷孕時亦都有咁嘅問題咧，仲有百分之三十嘅葡萄牙原來係冇咗性嘅功能嘅。咁呢個係一個好慘嘅東西。So you don't do anything, control your sugar. What gonna happen? You have a risk of getting stroke. You have possible possible cataract. Glaucoma, so you become blind, and then you have risk of heart attack, your nerve damage, high blood sugar, high high pressure, damaged vessels. You have amputation.、Uh, if your sugar not control, damage、uh, your、uh, kidney. You might have end up to dialysis. If you are pregnant, if you have complication before, it's called gestation diabetic. After a little while, you really have to watch because many people just convert to diabetes. And on top of that, thirty percent of diabetes patients will have no sexual control,、uh, sexual function. So it's really sad, you know. So we really need to help ourselves not to get yourself to diabetes. So what you gotta do is basically get yourself prevent from pre-diabetic to diabetic and convert it back to five point seven A1C to be a normal person. That is your job, and that's I know you can do it. It's just matter of your choice or not. So we're going to talk about what is anti-inflammatory diet now, and why this is important for pre-diabetic diabetic. Okay, now first of all, our body is very interesting. If you are、uh, really have some injury or anything、uh, different wrong, your body right away will call a, 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 an immune response to basic inflame, put white cells up there to make sure that you 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 are not. Uh, you are fighting a body. Make sure that it doesn't get bad. And so, this inflammation is a way of protecting your body、uh, to make sure that you 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 uh you know get well. However, if you have high blood sugar, your body will continue to be inflamed all the time. So there's a chronic inflammation. Net result, your body will add, add up to. End up with all kind of problems that、uh, uh, come out, like for example, because the continue inflame, continue inflame your heart vessel. So your heart eventually might become damaged and become a heart disease, or maybe you have a cancer. Same thing, cancer is the same thing. There's issue, they continue inflame, continue white cell coming out to fight the cancer. So it's the same issue. Or Alzheimer, diabetic is a very classical issue that your body will inflame. Because of the fact that your blood sugar is go up, so the body responded. So your vessel will be inflamed all the time. So this chronic inflammation is not good for your body. Ah, 各位朋友，因为一个人咧，如果你有咩病咧，个身体即刻会咧反应翻嚟嘅。咁啊，点反应啊？第一咧，佢就会将所有嘢咧系好似发炎咁，咁就帮你诶胀大啲血管啊，啊血泵多啲啊。啊啊！嗰啲白血球出多啲啊，咁如果喺咁繼續去長遠咁做咧，好多問題咧就可能會出現啊，好似心臟病啦，或者 cancer 同樣問題出現啦，同埋仲有或者依、這個誒、啊、你哋會誒、啊、有啊記憶嘅問題啦，同埋仲有一個啊糖尿病嘅問題，依啲全部係嗰、那個誒、啊、有嗰個問題嘅嗱 ，Alzheimer 一個好大問題嘅糖尿病點解好多人 Alzheimer 就係乜路？啊！喺個腦嗰度咧，好啦，塞咗嘅血管啦，到唔到啲人，記唔到嘢啦。咁所以變咗嚟講咧，好多時候咧都係有嗰個問題。所以其實咧，好重要咧，其實你要控制，唔好成日俾個成個身體去發炎咁解。Chronic inflammation， 唔好俾個身體成日發炎。咁變咗點做咧？就係、是、要降低血糖咯，係咪 ？So if you smoke, if you are obese, like you, you know, a very classical science. These people comes in, they have a big tummy. And when I was an ICU nurse, ER nurse in Hawaii,、uh, I found that many people comes in have lots of problems. They're obese. They didn't know they had diabetes. They just big tummy, and in that right away, I already see there's a classical sign. This person might be a very big problem of diabetes, most likely because they're obese, they're big tummy, and they're sick. And look at the blood sugar right away, bang! They're they're the subject. So and they didn't know. They said, "Oh, I didn't know. I'm I'm diabetes." So many of them are shocked. And especially if they smoke, they're obese, they drink alcohol. This is all increase the inflammation risk. Now, 各位同学
，我做 I C 同 E N S 嘅時候咧，當我見到好多人又使口威做啊，我哋咁嗰啲人好大隻翻嚟咧，哇個大肚燈又好重，同埋做一樣咧，佢嚟到病唔舒服嘅時候咧，咁我哋知道佢咁鬼大隻啊，仲有好多大肚燈。咁我依知道咧，依個人咧多數糖尿病係好有機會㗎啦。咁啊，度血嘅時候即刻知道依個係，同埋佢又飲酒又食煙，兩樣嘢咧都係 increase 咗佢成個 inflammation 嘅 risk 嘅。咁依樣嘢咧係一個好嘢睇到出嚟。So diet is really play a big role of inflammation. So if you can lower your inflammation. By just give it proper dieting, and you really don't necessarily just all rely on medication. So making taking medication might not be a good idea a lot of time because more medication in there might be more chronic side effects. So you want to limit your medication as much as possible, but you do need to take medication to help you to actually put yourself in a better level, but not to take excessive. And what I mean is, a lot of people is,、uh, would talk to all the time. They said, "Hey, I don't worry because my doctor taking care of me. I take as many medication as possible. But don't forget, any additional medication you take, there is such a thing called side effect. It might damage your what liver, might damage your kidney, might damage other organ because of that. That's the reason why a lot of time." You don't know when you take medication might actually hurt your kidney. So net result, if you continue to take the same medication, your kidney function will continue to go down. So you gotta watch that. See, this is why I highly suggest when you do that, you have to be careful with that, and not you just say I will just take medication. It will work. Not necessarily. Ah, hold on. Let you wait. Wait. 我係咪就係食藥就得㗎啦？我依家醫生俾多啲藥更好啦。咁其實就唔係嘅，因為食多啲藥咧唔等於係幫助你嘅。咁其實你要自己做好多嘢咧。For example， 更加好咧係咪唔食咁多藥，能夠令到你咧個誒低血控制多啲？咁你咪會覺得更加好咯？會係咪咁嚟噶？會令到更加理想咧 ？Rather than 你淨係哇食多啲藥，一食咧有咩啊副作用啊？要記住一樣嘢。食多啲藥有副作用，唔正仔。咁今次咧，我講呢個咧係幫助你多啲了解乜嘢食物能夠降低你成日會發啊發炎嘅東西。咁如果你降低咗呢個成日發炎咧，幫助你一個身體咪更加理想咯。咁所以咧，呢個呢個特呢個 webinar 係一個好特別嘅 webinar， 冇咩人講嘅。咁我哋今日咧係希望你多啲研究到咧，係幫助你多啲。It's a good idea. So, ah,、uh, so let's talk about what is anti-inflammatory diet. In other words, what is the food you take will not cause you inflammation. 嗱，其實咧好簡單，咩嘢叫抗炎食物咧？令到你食咗啲嘢，你嘅身體唔會擴、唔會脹大啊，否會發炎一樣咧。So it's very interesting. It's very simple. So you gotta take food is not cause any inflammation, and you now what that means is after you take the food, if you take lots of food inflammation, the body will hot, can be inflamed. But you want limit minimize all the food you take, doesn't cause that or you give me a low grade inflame is not inflame your entire body. So this is a really actual lifestyle change, and I after you see the food that you start to understand, when you have non-inflammatory food, that would definitely help you the body. A lot of people said it will feel cleaner, and the body will actually less problem or sickness will come on. So what does that mean? You need to have more vegetable,、uh, less sugary foods, and you want to limit it like red meat. A lot of dietary problem、uh, product. You have to have very little complex carbohydrates. I'm、uh, sorry. You have to eat more complex hyper,、uh, carbohydrate, like beans, whole grain, vegetable, the whole plant without with more natural fiber. And you have to turn the glucose to be as energy uh, uh, rather than uh, uh, you just get into your muscle with all the sugar. So you want to get make sure more carbohydrate with fibers 
that is delayed absorption, but the fibers uh, is all natural fiber of a whole plant. Like for example, eating an apple with all the skin is really helpful rather than just eat the apple itself or drink apple juice. That's what I'm talking about. And also, don't eat a lot of processed food, like breakfast or cereal. You know, if you do eat cereal, a packet of cereal, you eat about 50 pounds of sugar each year just on the typical cereal. Instead of eating this cereal, you eat something that is brand but no sugar is better. A lot of fibers, right? So those are better uh, product that for instead of just cereal with a lot of sugar. Don't eat too much white bread and also sausage roll, pastry, all those would not be good for you. And you need to eat food with more omega-3 with fatty acid, right? uh, like salmon, halibut, food, instead of uh, omega-6, like corn oil, processed food. You want to eat more nuts, more seeds, and stay away really from sugar, okay? Now, guys, it's very simple. What is the common food? Actually, first of all, Shimbole uh, sugary fruit, inflammatory anti-inflammatory 你要吃很多whole 那些東西,cereal,全部是糖的 呃,粟米油啊,還有一些processed的food啊,那些不好吃啦。我們吃到那些nuts啊,nuts好像almond good okay? You know, really, at the end of the day, why I actually start understanding this because of the fact that I start seeing, wow, there's a lot of people actually, uh, they are having chronic inflammatory disease and it really actually has a high cost of the death. And these disease associated inflammatory uh, with food is really what that is, is basically... Uh, if they eat a lot of red meat, they don't do refined carbohydrate. In other words, they eat a lot of just processed sugar. And uh, they will get diabetes, Alzheimer, obesity, ca- uh, cholesterol, uh, col- colorectal cancer, and regular cancer. So really, at the end of the day, when we look at this research, we start finding a lot of the chronic inflammatory disease uh, really can be a significant cause of death. And basically this disease might, if you take good uh, pro, uh, uh, anti-inflammatory diet, maybe help you out to further decrease some of these disease occurrence, okay? Now, 
喺好多全球嘅啊好多實驗裏面咧，證明到咧，如果你唔食咁多依啲係有啊發啊依、這個確啊有發炎嘅食物咧，咁你咧就會係其實幫你嗰、那個即係、就是、控制到依啲咁嘅病咧，係會有一個幫助喎，好似糖尿病第一就好緊要啦，第二有 L S M 即係唔記得嘢個病啦。仲有肥胖啦，因為你食好多肥油啊、肉啊嗰啲，咁真係會幫助，就會做啲嘢咧。仲有 cancer 啦，因為咧，又是呢個大腸癌咧，喺度全部都係有好多呢啲咁嘅發炎嘅食物創新嘅，同埋其他癌症都係同一樣。所以變咗嚟講咧，呢個咧係如果你係控制到你唔係呢咁嘅繼續食好多呢咁嘅。慢性發炎嘅食物咧，就可能夠令到你個身體真係唔會入邊咗咁多，即係發炎嘅東西，俾你個身體能夠產生依啲咁嘅病出嚟啦。So diet definitely help you to reduce inflammation. So you really have to try your best. See, you can help you to get diet to help you to decrease the inflammation. And give you some example. What is that? Mean for some of the people, like for example, had rheumatoid arthritis. You know, arthritis, the joint pain, and so forth. And we found through study, the vegan or vegetarian diet definitely help rheumatoid arthritis patient delay the degrees uh, uh, progression, plus a lower the medication and less pain, less swell of the joint. Okay. So this is really a significant show. Inflammation. If you decrease that diet and reduce more inflammation, diet will help you increase. Uh, uh, help you on the disease. One example is rheumatoid arthritis. Second is patient with cancer, especially colon cancer, rectal cancer, or cancer of rect rectum. If you started with lower inflammatory diet, you have fewer. Gastrointestinal issue and improve your entire physical stage. You don't feel bloated. You don't feel stomach discomfort. I don't know. Even though without the cancer disease, people who eat without that just vegan style or vegetarian, they have less bloating. So definitely, that is already shown. Is not necessary. You have cancer to be improved just by itself. Just eating those vegetarian diet will very help you a lot. In a Swedish study, it shows that after you get down anti,、uh, after you take、uh, anti-inflammatory diet, you have 13 percent lower risk of death from cancer. Wow, that's really cool. 13 percent, 13 one three percent lower death of、uh, from cancer. And if you are a smoker, take an anti-in The inflammatory diet, you have thirty percent, thirty-one percent lower the risk of dying. Okay, and then also thirty-two percent lower、uh, the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease, and so that is really cool. So net result, you are actually showing if you take anti-inflammatory diet. You actually help you to decrease your body inflame continuously, chronic inflammation, and actually help you in less death, less cancer discomfort, and also delay your、uh, disease progress. And I I can tell you, several、uh, people I talk to who have stomach cancer or intestinal cancer, the diet definitely help them. Decrease the chances of the cancer coming back, and also the discomfort of cancer, a、uh, deformer of the gastro discomfort. So, so it really can help on that sense. Okay, decrease your、uh, decrease progression. 嗱，好多人唔知道咧，原來咧，如果減低個誒誒食物係要有令到你身體發炎嘅時候咧，其實係幫助你係好多不同嘅症狀會出現，或者。啊啊啊！整到你個症狀咧，係能夠遲啲先發啊，即係先有差啲情況咧，係 delay 咗依樣嘢係已經好嘅咯。有一樣嘢 ，for example 啦，就係個 arthritis， 即係風濕病啊
。咁呢個咧 ，rheumatoid arthritis 咧就係啲災會係即係啊啊過濾風濕咧就會係腫咗啦。咁如果你係食嘅 diet 全部係菜啊、vegetable 啊、素食啊，咁原來咧你嗰啲你個身體最能夠令到佢係會。即係腫脹啲災腫脹咧，係會遲啲會發生嘅，同埋咧就唔會咁厲害嘅，或者就算發生，咁呢個咧亦都係降低咗你嘅藥物嘅需要啦喺嗰方面。咁尤其是好多病人咧有癌症啦，尤其是腸癌啦。咁如果腸癌咧佢係有，譬如好似係大腸癌啦，或者係肛門嘅癌啦。咁如果你係食咗，誒、呃、啲好啲嘅誒，即係菜蔬啊、素食啊，咁唔係去發啊，令到唔係食繼續食好多肉啊，肉就係一啲即係有 inflammatory 嘅，即係會發炎性嘅食物啦、啊。咁你個腸咧就唔會噃咁，即係好痛啊，有脹啊，依咁嘅事發生啦、啊。咁同埋咧，本身嚟講，你都好容易咧，係會好似個人係舒服咗嘅，好舒服，好行得快啲咁樣嘅。咁再啦。我喺個瑞典嘅 study 咧，如果你係食啲嘢，如果唔係有成日發炎嘅話咧，你十有百分之十三咧 lower 咗你個 risk 係會變咗係會早喺呢個 cancer 死嘅。同埋如果你就去食煙啊，三十個 percent 少咗係會死喺方面啦。同埋喺個 cardiovascular 即係心臟病裏面都少咗三十個 percent 嘅。咁所以其實咧 delay 咗你唔食發炎嘅食物咧。I thought it was very helpful. So, really, at the end of the day, the anti-inflammatory food will really help you in, like, for example, uh, any kind of pro uh, product with pain, like, for example, rheumatoid arthritis, a lot of pain, and especially as you go aging, uh, get older, you have more pain associated. So those will also uh, decrease those pain associations. On top of that, because you're anti-inflammatory, it doesn't continue to damage your heart. So your heart are pretty protected. You don't get much of the heart attack and so forth. And people with multiple sclerosis uh, <coughs> will also help you. And then, especially if you are athletic, you walk a lot at the training. If you're injury, if you have less anti-inflammatory food, it actually help you to the uh, faster recovery. Or any kind of uh, training, uh, ex accident, and so forth. So, it's really show anti-inflammatory food can help you uh, improve overall health. So, uh, 各位，如果你抗炎食物咧，點解會幫助你啊？嗱，當你老啲嘅時候咧，老得多痛嘅。For example， 有骨折痛啦，你有嘅係譬如關節痛啦。仲有風濕痛啦，同埋當你老啲嘅時候咧，多咁多痛楚咧，尤其是你六七十歲出現噶啦，依痛楚咧，如果你繼續食依啲係抗炎嘅食物咧，嗰啲痛會降低嘅。如果你繼續係食牛排啊咁啲湯咧，就會高壓嘅，因為有好多痛痛會出現啦。或者做完之後你有勾啊嗰啲咧，即係啊啊，所有啲痛咧都會出現多啲嘅。如果你繼續係唔改你嘅生活習慣，繼續食啲。食物係全部幫助你係發炎多啲嘅，咁你就弊家伙啦。咁你對心臟亦都好大影響，因為你成日令到心臟發炎咧，咁你好多時咧就會令到個心咧係會有好多時咧有問題嘅。當你唔食依啲嘢嘅時候咧，你嘅心臟咧就冇咁多機會有依種發炎。咁你嘅心臟咧係幫助你係維持保護你嘅護心可以講得嚟啊。咁同埋咧，仲有好多時咧，你患咗好多硬化誒症啦。如果你個你個 sclerosis 係硬化，咁變咗嚟講咧，依啲亦都係令到你咧係會有痛啦，同埋啲血管硬化啦。如果你食啲嘢繼續係好似糖尿病係一個 good 問題啦，你如果繼續食好多發炎嘅東西，你啲血管咪繼續硬化咯。咁依個係對你唔正唔係好咯喎，係咪？咁又當作幫咗你更加多機會係令令到其他嘅病發生。咁同埋仲有好多人咧，如果係即係運動嘅人咧，如果佢係，繼續食啲嘢係唔係繼續發炎嘅咧？其實如果佢任何 injury 啊，即係喺運動啊、呃，即係啊創傷啊，或者誒好攰啊，其實好快復原嘅，因為佢冇發加咗發炎嘅問題喺裏邊。咁所以其實咧，佢依個走啊快做嘢咧都容易可能夠快啲復原。
，所以咧變咗嚟講咧，依個係一個十分對身體十分好嘅。咁其實咧，如果你係糖尿患病者咧，你食嘅嘢 anti-inflammatory 嘅 diet 係差唔多，所以你係變咗係更加係理想嘅對自己。咁其實咧喺 anti-inflammatory 裏邊咧，係食咩事啱咧？同埋 for 依啲人咧，係如果前期患病同埋係依個長期患病者。啊，已經糖尿病者有咩唔同呢？其實老實講係一樣嘅東西，差唔多。所以咧係一個係好嘅嚟做。So really, what is the anti-inflammatory diet? What food you should take for pre-diabetic diabetic? Actually, it's very simple. It's the same diet for pre-diabetic diabetic. That's the reason why I want to talk about it. So make you more alert. Why you really need to go anti-inflammatory diet to help you have a better understanding? So first of all, first you have to drink low sugar tea because that will definitely help you lower your blood sugar, get rid of your cholesterol, get rid of the salt, detox. You go a lot more restroom, so get rid of all the waste. It's good for you. Secondly, you have to eat a more Mediterranean diet, and later we'll talk about what is Mediterranean diet because what they do is they have more fruits, apple, apple, peach, tomato. Uh, things like that will help you. So fruits, you don't want to be very fruit, uh, uh, very sweet fruits like apple with skin. That's really good. You need to dry fruits, a、uh, palm, prune, so things. You want to have plant-based protein like lento, chickpeas. You want more vegetable like broccoli, cauliflower, bok choy. You know Chinese bok choy is very good. Okay. Uh, in vegetable, you want more cauliflower. Actually, you don't need to eat potato. You get good cauliflowers, mashed potato, which is delicious. If you don't have that, we can play that one more time for you next time, so you can know how to make mashed potato with cauliflower. It's wonderful. You need to eat a lot more fish, like salmon, tuna, herring,、uh, lake trout. All those fish are very good. They have good omega three fish. Omega three. You want to eat more whole grain food like oatmeal, brown rice, whole wheat bread, not white bread. White bread is the worst thing you can eat. So whole wheat bread. You want to eat always leafy greens like roman romaine lettuce, spinach, kale, and you want to eat ginger, for example. Uh, it's not gina. That spelling mistake is ginger.、Uh, you eat nuts, almond, walnuts. You want to have flax seed or regular seeds. You want to eat a lot more omega three、uh, fatty food like avocado, olive oil, and dark chocolate. So these are all good food of anti-inflammatory diet. Okay. Now go ahead, talk out. 其實好簡單，你可以啊誒、uh, ，actually if you guys want to take a picture， you should take a picture of this one。It's a really good guidance for you。What is the anti-inflammatory diet？ 嘢嗱，嗰啲圖咧，你依家可以影張相啊，依個嚇嗱，因為當你係食依樣嘢叫做咩嘢叫做啊，能夠令到你係降低你嘅抗炎食物咧，其實咧就係、是、第一飲去糖茶啦，因為去糖茶咧去降低血糖啦，降低你膽固醇啦，啊～將啲鹽降走啦，係係同你 detox 啦，咁呢個係一個好十分好嘅。咁第二樣咧，地中海嘅食誒、呃、飲食嘅誒誒食物嘅誒單張咧就係好正嘅，即係食好多生果啦，生果唔係甜嘅生果啦，蘋果啊、tomato 啊，即係番茄啊啲東西啦。咁你食嘅 dry food 嘅有 plums 啊，有啊啊果子啦、梨子啦，同埋咧有要好高嘅。誒、uh, 植物嘅蛋白質啦 ，for example 豆啦，誒、uh, 仲有咧菜啦，要食好多嘅誒誒西蘭花啊、椰菜花啊，或者白菜啦，中國人白菜係好正嘅。嗱，好多時咧，啲人話俾你，哇！我想愛 cauliflower 個 mashed potato 喎，唔緊要，唔好食 mashed potato， 可以 cauliflower 做埋之後咧，可以做翻一樣好似 mashed 咁好食嘅，我可以下一次做嘅 recipe 咧，大家。去試下就好開心，因為依個咧係食完之後，哇！原來咁正仔嘅，仲有好多係 fatty fish， 即係當你個誒、呃、有 omega 三嘅魚係好正嘅，好似三文魚啦，或者係 tuna 魚啦
啊，依、这個咧係啊啊，仲、啊、有即係其他嘅鮮魚啦，依啲係全部正嘅東西。咁你要食得有谷露啊、麥皮啦，同埋要啊全麥嘅麵包啦，唔好食白嘅麵包啦，仲要係好多綠嘅生果啊菜啦，好似 romaine lettuce 啦，同埋誒菠菜啦。啊！依啲咁啦，就係 ginger 啦，誒、啊、就依個錯串錯字啊，唔好意思啊，啊 ginger 即係姜啊，咁同埋咧仲有 nuts， 即係有誒誒、啊、果仁啦、啊，同埋 walnuts 啦、啊，即係誒 almond nuts 啦、啊，杏仁啊、核桃啊係好正嘅，咁仲有其他嘅誒、啊、種子啦，咁依啲亦都係 OK 嘅，咁仲有咧仲有 avocado 啦，同埋啊橄欖油啦，同埋黑嘅誒、啊、朱古力，咁依啲啊全部係一啲。係好好嘅誒抗炎食物，咁咧同誒依個誒大餅力嘅食物咧係一式一樣嘅，係糖尿患病者都係要食呢個糖嘅嘢，所以變咗係咁容易做嘅東西，點解唔去做咧？又兩個打，即係係一樣嘅東西。咁其實咧有咩係真係你啲食物係會令到你成日會發炎嘅咧？哇！依啲就係全部嘅食物咧就係好高糖，同埋好多。啊、uh, ，糖嘅食物啦 ，OK， 嗱 ，so really at the end of the day， what what is inflammatory food and what is something that you really want to avoid？ There is anything with lot of sugar， basically very simple。For example， high sugar things like soda， juice， any sugary drink， forget it， don't do it， OK？ Red meat。Is another very high sugar product, which is no good. Dairy, uh, or the milk product, processed meat like hot dog sausage. The hot dog sausage is not healthy at all. I saw my friends are eating hot dog a lot every day. Man, that is no good food because you don't know what people put in the hot dog and sausage. Okay, and you also need to think about any kind of white bread, pastry, fish. I mean, uh, sweet. Carbohydrate item, you know, things like, for example, pastry. You know, a bun, a pastry. Those are all sweet stuff. Last but not least, fried food, French fries, all those stuff are not good for you. These are the inflammatory food that you need to avoid. Okay. 嗱，各位朋友，好簡單，你睇到咧，所有食物係能夠令到你發炎嘅食係咩咧 ？For example. 汽水、juice， 多全部糖嘅東西，你就唔好飲啦。仲有紅嘅肉，哇 ，red meat 喎、哦，所有紅肉都唔好食咁多啦。第二，牛奶類啊，因為都係喺紅肉出嚟啦，嗰、那個都係會幫助你咧，係 inflammatory 嘅。咁仲埋仲有咧，好多熱狗，熱狗係全部有即係加工食物嚟嘅喎 ，process food 嚟嘅喎。咁裏邊你唔知佢擺乜喺裏邊嘅喎。咁所以咧，嗰啲嘢亦都係對全部身體唔好嘅。嗰、那個白麵包、pastry、蛋誒唔係蛋糕，依全部都係有依啲好多糖嘅東西。同埋最好啦，唔好食咁多去麥當勞嘅薯條啦，因為薯條係炸嘅咧，亦都係一個 inflammatory 嘅，即係誒發炎嘅食物。So when you decrease all that, will help you definitely decrease your inflammation. So all the food you gotta watch and not to get inflamed, okay? So really, when you decrease all the anti-inflammatory diet, what can it help you or people who have such disease, okay? For example, if you're diabetic, you have heart disease, you have cancer already, like breast or colon cancer, Alzheimer, any kind of pulmonary disease, epilepsy,、uh, and also any kind of Like、uh, autoimmune disease, like rheumatoid arthritis, all these is really help you、uh, if you eliminate and the anti-inflammatory diet will definitely help you. Because, like for example, let's talk about diabetes. If you are taking your food, <coughs> do not cause you inflame, so your vessel will be less inflamed, and that will help you on your heart. Your kidney, your liver, all the entire body vessels. Wow, isn't that better? If you control your blood sugar, your vessel become less inflamed, so be less hardened 
less damage to rest your body. That's really much better, isn't it? So that's why anti-inflammatory diet will really help you. Kaya 那你會影響你的血管、硬化、心臟的問題、HDC會病 Mugumnobang. 還有肺病或者你的Alzheimer的 so you might ask yourself, we say, if I start this anti-inflammatory diet, do I have any downside? I can tell you there's no downside, only good side, upside. No downside. Isn't that wonderful? And you are pre-diabetic, diabetic is only give you upside again. So why not to do something only upside, no downside? So there is no downside with associate with anti-inflammatory, it only upside. Now, what you can do is you is a actual lifestyle change. So you really have to master as the same thing. When you, like you're pre-diabetic, diabetic, you just basically have to master yourself to continue to keep thinking what is anti-inflammatory diet so you can stick to your diet make sure you don't eat a lot of hot dog processed food like for example cyanine that kind of stuff is no good for you you know box noodles that is uh uh that is definitely no good so you remove that that will not that will totally help you to improve the diet so that will be very important. So you got to determine to continue to look at what is the diet that is inflammatory. You eliminate that. That will help you already. Now,其实如果你问自己,如果我有一个抗炎食物,我没有其他缺点,或者有没有downside,其实是没有的,其实是好的。但是这个食物是跟你糖尿病的食餐是一样的。哇,真的正啊,一食一樣啊。so, really, at the end of the day, after you start the anti inflammatory diet, how long will I see effect? Basically, if you take that really seriously, in two to three weeks, 
you already get some effect. And let's take as long as 12 weeks, especially for people who have rheumatoid arthritis. You feel your joint pain will last because of inflammatory diet are controlled. And I'm surprised because I don't have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, but I do have sometimes joint uh, pain because of arthritis sometimes. And I really see myself, if I cut down the uh, inflammatory diet, uh, you know what? My joint become very good. Don't get pain. It was really good. So I even, I myself found that is really effective. And you will feel really, I ask many, many, many our clients, if we do that, what could happen? They said they feel cleaner. They feel good. They feel less stomach bloating. They feel less in uh, um, uh, uh, discomfort. More so, they feel happier. The mood become better. So really, at the end of the day, this is really good for anybody to start this anti-inflammatory diet. Now, 各位朋友，其實好多朋友話咧，喂，咁我之後咁幾時至好㗎？如果食咗一啲咁嘅抗炎食物啦，咁其實食咗抗炎食物之後咧，原來咧，你大兩三個星期後咧。至到十二個星期裏邊咧，你就已經覺得哇好特別喎、哦！尤其是好多人咧，係已經有依個骨節炎啊、關節炎啊。其實我自己都有少關節炎，我冇依、这個啊啊風濕，真係真係風濕，但係有少人發炎咧。咁當我食熱物咗之後，我都覺得哇手指係能夠舒服咗喎、哦，喐唔痛喎、哦。但係如果你食咗好多紅藥咧，哇弊傢伙啦，有可能有溝皮啦，依啲嘢全部翻曬嚟嘅。咁所以變咗嚟講咧。我自己有咁嘅經驗嘅，咁同埋仲有咧，好多人又問咗佢哋，喂食完咗點樣噶？話佢覺得，哇！我成個人好似乾淨咗，同埋咧個人好舒服咗，冇咁多肚嘅痛苦啦，又冇 bloating 啦，胃腸胃唔舒服啦。仲有一樣嘢，個人開心咗嘅，同埋因為點解佢 feel clean 啊，咪開心啲咯。所以依樣嘢咧係對你全身都係好正嘅。咁啊，我做個總結咧，就第一。當你食 anti-inflammatory 咧，其實你係變咗一個係健康啲人嘅，同埋咧仲有一樣嘢，你會係覺得咧自己冇咗一個好似長期患病嘅東西，同埋咧覺得你個身體嘅狀況係好啲，同<咳>埋健康啲。但係好嘢咧 ，anti-inflammatory diet 係同前期患病同埋你糖尿病。嘅 diet 係一食一樣差唔多，所以做依樣嘢咧係當然咧令到你係一定係幫助你好大。咁記住啦，最緊要飲去糖茶啦，幫你降低血糖啦。So in summary, anti-inflammatory is a healthy diet for everybody. Really, will not uh will you do that? You most likely not enhance your chronic disease to develop like diabetes because you cut down all your blood sugar. You will not Get your body to be continue inflamed, and it's really a better quality of life because you have better diet, better healthier, and is anti-inflammatory is very similar to your pre-diabetic diet and diabetic diet is similar, and especially if you can use Mediterranean diet is really great. So it's a very similar practice. If you are practicing your pre-diabetic, cut down your sugar, diabetic, cut down your sugar, you are already there. So keep at it, and also continue drink low sugar tea will help you all the way through lower your blood sugar. So basically, today we hope that will help you to get better idea what is anti-inflammatory diet, and help you to get better、uh, choice of your life, get a better healthier. So today I'm going to talk about a delicious almond bread, two gram cup, and、uh, basically. Show you how to make a burger. It's really delicious, and I tell you, it's really good. Adding together is only twenty gram carbs. Okay, so you take a picture. Now I'm not going to show you again how to make almond bread because previous two sessions already show you. If you need that, you can look at how to do almond bread in earlier session. But this already show you how to make almond bread. But I'll show you how to mix the almond bread afterwards. How to make a A hamburger patty to make a hamburger is delicious and is really good. As only、uh, less than twenty gram carbs is wonderful. A lot of lettuce. So can you take a picture of this again? 
。嗱，我今次咧，因為上一次堂兩堂咧已經教咗你哋係點做個杏仁麵包，咁我今次咧喺個 video 裏邊咧就唔會再教你做呢個杏仁麵包噶啦。咁但係咧，裏邊教點去做個漢堡香啊漢啊啊 hamburger 咧，漢堡包咧，我就會教你點做嘅。咁變咗咧，而家咧睇落去就好舒服。嗱，依個好容易做，好好食。仲有唔係糖尿病病者都有人食到，大概二十 gram 卡嘅啫，咁就好鬼正。OK， 影一張相，各位嚇，影一張相。咁我哋咧就開始咧，就依家去咧就做我哋嘅啊啊依個 video 講座咧，係點做 hamburger 啦。Hi, this is Andrew Lalo, Zuni President. Now, last couple of weeks, I already made some non-tuna sandwich, and we also make one almond with tuna sandwich, also almond bread, just like this one. Okay. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a real hamburger for you to less than 20 cups. Wow, that's wonderful. Because you can have this as a lunch or snack. Hi, I'm Andrew Lalo, Zuni President. Now, 我哋前幾日咧，啊，唔係前幾個禮拜應該啊，咁啊整咗個啊攬嘅 tuna 三文治。咁啊，你可以係做食 snack 又得，晏晝又得。咁啊 ，under 又係二十個 gram carb 嘅。咁仲有咧，我又做咗一個咧，係 tuna 魚嘅 almond bread。OK， 咁又係。好正啊 ！Under twenty gram cup， 咁今次咧教做一個 hamburger 啦，啊漢堡包，但係亦都係 under twenty gram cup， 咁啊好鬼正嘅，好容易做。嗱，首先我睇下依個就 Alvin Bragg，OK，right？、Okay? Now what we do is we gonna have this. This is the bird's eye quarter pound hamburger, just like that. And you can buy it in supermarket or anywhere. 嗱，各位朋友。我哋咧就係用依個誒 bird eye 嘅係漢堡包嗰個誒漢堡牛肉啦 ，quarter pound 啦，即係四分一包嘅牛肉啦。咁每個人會咧就係咁樣睇到嘅，睇到。咁其實我就煎咗佢啦。咁但係咧就好簡單咧，就係煎佢嘅時候咧就誒即係誒就咁揾啲 olive oil 煎就得㗎啦。啊，好簡單啊！咁你買個牛肉就煎咗佢，就係咁樣嘅。咁然後咧。So you just buy the quarter pound、uh, bird's eye. You pan fry it. You can make it actually medium or medium. I like it medium. It's good. Sometimes some people like a medium rare. That's fine. Up to you guys. Okay. So all you do is prepare the almond bread, and all you do is put some mayonnaise over. I like to do this. The whole gun that. So you just buy the mayonnaise side off. Okay. Buy the mayonnaise side off. Come here, let's go. 第二樣嘢可以簡簡單到咧，就可以擺些少呢個 mustard 同埋 mayonnaise。So a little bit mustard and a little bit mayonnaise is very simple。好，好 ，OK。So you mix it. Now you can spread this if you want to, and you can actually spread like that. OK. And then all you do is just put. And that's it. This is the back. This is the bottom. So I put it in the bottom, and you put it here like that. And then now you put the bago bun here. Ah, buy the mayonnaise to my mustard. You know, buy the cucumber. Okay, you put a little bit cucumber. You put a little bit tomato. It's that simple. And then you put the lettuce. Okay, and then all you do is just hold it like that. Now you know what? You just had a big hamburger. That's how easy. Now all you do is you can cut it and eat it just like that. So it's a very good lunch, and you can actually、uh, make it any way you want to、uh, eat it at lunch or snack. I like this at lunch. I ate quite a few of those, and it's very delicious. My wife like 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 it.、Uh, my family all like it, and is under twenty gram carb. So enjoy your lunch, and we're gonna have a wonderful recipe, and we're gonna teach you more how to make 
nice sandwiches. I would guess it. Our garlic chowdari has salmon. This is under the brand of Hanbo Bao. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for attending our webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very